So we're doing some fencing. Most of the fences on our farm here have all been replaced in the last 20 years. Um, when Dad first got here, he just had this thing that he wanted to have every shitty fence turned into a beautiful fence. This fence just here is the longest shitty fence we still have on the place. There's a few around that are, that are more than 20 years old, but most of them um, have been replaced. But this one here goes for about 2.5 kilometers, and um, it was actually built by my nephew's grandfather. So that's before we ended up having this farm, but it's kind of kept it in the family. So it's pretty awesome when he comes here that it's his grandfather's farm on one side and uh, his grand grandfather built this fence on the other side. So we want to keep this fence here as long as we can. And we've got to repair it. But um, in this ground, the melon hole ground that's here, whenever it rains or um, there's drought, the earth moves in corresponding um, manner. So. It, uh, it all cracks up, it's called dry cracking clay. It cracks up and uh, moves one way in the dry and expands and moves another way in the wet. And what that means is your fence posts, doesn't matter how strong your fence post is, they're gonna move regardless because of the soils moving them all over the place. So we're replacing all the um, really bent out of place uh, posts, plus the posts that have um, weathered down to the point that they're no good. I mean, the fence has been here for 50 odd years, so We've got to do some work with it. So first of all, we just pull all the, the tie wires out, put them on here, take any old shitty wire that, that's um, laid in water or it's, it's deteriorated, replace it with some good wire. If um, the ring lock's gone, we've got to replace it with ring lock. So we've got to have all our stuff on board. We always need a shovel just in case a snake comes where we're working because we're working in such um, pretty shitty conditions with sweat and, and uh, we're exhausted. If you go where there's a um, possibility of a snake, the likelihood of getting bitten is really quite high. So it is illegal to kill snakes, but in a life and death situation, um, you've got to get rid of a snake from a certain area. That's what the shovel's for. You've got to kill that bloody snake. I've also got the dog here. The dog makes sure that no one flogs our tools or our chainsaw. Um, the chainsaw is there because if trees fall on the fence, we've got to make sure that um, we can get the trees off, but the dog's there to keep everything safe. Right. Now how do we go about replacing the, um, the fence is first of all we've got to get rid of the old wooden ones. These are iron bark posts, they're designed to last for about 70 years. Pretty much this fence will do at 70 years, all the other fences that we've replaced with on the farm will definitely do 70 years or more. Um, but uh, as I said in this soil it moves like all hell so we're taking all these ones out that are in the bottom of this melon hole which are leaning right over, we're going to replace it with new steels so we've got to cut these out um, if i was stronger i'd be able to just lift that out but i've tried a few of them we've lifted out but um but the ones that we can't lift out by hand because we don't have any machines here uh it's too expensive to bring them right across because the farm's so big it costs a hell of a lot to bring the machines across so we can't lift them out so it's up to uh sweat and uh me squealing oh see one chop and it's done how's that um, now we've got to go through we've got, got all this done and place our steel posts pretty much so where the old ones were we're going to build this fence back up perfect tie it all off and um, with the magic of uh, television you'll see what it's going to look like in about 10 seconds how's that i to chop this one off you forget what I said Okay, away from you at the base. Yeah, go for gold. Just a bit towards you at the top. That's, that's it. Let's 
Good. Is that? Yep, spot on. Away from me at the base. Just uh, tight. Just just kick it with your boot. Just tiny bit away from you at the base. That's it. And towards the paddock a bit at the top. Towards the paddock at the top. Spot on. So there you go, finished. Uh, it would be really, really good if you could use iron bark posts, because then that would last another 50 years. But because we are recycling so much material, everything's got to last the same length of time as the wooden posts. And uh, you don't want to be chopping and fucking, I'm gonna pause on that.